Hello there, it's John Hall from Right Ear Pens and we're looking at an Opus 88 as you can see and we're going to have a look and see what it is and there we go oh it's the Opus 88 Omar their new pen I'll tell you what just by chance I have the other colours just beside me here Aren't they lovely? I really, really like them. So, let's have a closer look, see what we've got here. So, a green one, it's brown, ambery colour, purple, and I think that's a sort of black, stony colour. First things you'll notice are the white, sort of pearly coloured cap, pearly creamy, I'm not quite sure which. You'll notice that there's a sort of interesting marbled effect on the caps here, translucent barrel and we're going to have a closer look at I think in, we'll go for the green one. There we are. Now I did have a look at this a bit earlier and I can tell you that it weighs 34 grams and it is quite a seriously big pen. Like all of the other Opus 88s, it's a eyedropper filler and it has this ink control mechanism running down the centre of the pen there. So let's take the cap off and just have a quick look here. I'm in a bit squeaky there, but there we are. A bit of silicon grease would sort that out. There's the cap. Um, very nice looking. Probably utilitarian rather than beautiful clip, I'd say. I'm not totally knocked out by that. But on the other hand, I think... Oh, that's really lovely, actually. And clearly made to a very high standard. Got a little insignia Opus 88 on the clip there. And... Well, it will do a job. It will do a job well. Moving to the pen itself. Well, again, the first thing to say is that, like the demonstrator, it's got the big Jovo number no. 6 nib, which I'm sure will delight some people. And talking of nibs, we've got fine, medium, broad, and the 1.5 stub. So there we are. Now, looking at the body, again you can see, yes it is translucent. There we are. And these white caps I think are very attractive. Now here is the control mechanism. We'll turn that around a bit. We'll come down here. I think we're going to stay in focus. There we go. So, when open you'll get a very strong ink flow. And as you close it, and shut the ink flow off completely, which is quite a good thing um, because eyedroppers have a bit of a tendency to burp. Right, so 34 grams, big pen obviously. Let's pop that down there and let's bring in another fairly new pen, but not that new. And that is the Opus 88 Demonstrator. Again, a very tidy piece of work. But we're just going to compare the size because, strangely enough, I've just weighed them. And I make the Omar slightly heavier. I think the Omar's probably two or three grams heavier. That came in at 34 grams, that comes in at about 30. Um, you get a better view of the demonstrator of exactly what the um, ink control mechanism um, consists of. You can just see that there's a piston running up and down there which is controlled by a screw thread at the back of the pen. There we go. There we go. Um, in terms of relative sizes, 
have a look. Well, to be honest, there's not a great deal in it, really, is there? I would say that the demonstrator is probably slightly broader in the barrel. The Omar, you'll see, has got this very nice, very nice indeed, sort of curved shape. Um, not a huge amount of difference in the section holding them, no. But I'll tell you what, when you pick them up, when you pick them up, there does seem to be a significant weight difference in the um, in the Omar. It does seem to be that little bit heavier. So, there we are. Right, well I said this was going to be a fairly quick introduction. I shall just bring back the other colours. If you want more information about this pen, I'm sure there'll be more on the website and certainly more pictures. So here we go. So we've got the green, we've got the purple, we've got the amber, and we've got the, oh, what should we call it, stone. Probably got a proper name, but I'm afraid I don't know what it is at the moment. Anyway, it's a quick introduction to the Opus 88 Omar. I think the most attractive pen they've made to date. What do you think? <laughs>